Shalom Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And I mentioned in a, in a previous uh, video the uh, first uh, parsha in um, the book of Leviticus, uh, Veikra. It's also the name of the, the book. Sefer Veikra is the Hebrew for the book of Leviticus. And uh, it's an unusual wording, and as you know, few things get me like unusual wordings. Um, the word Vaikra means he called, and he called. Um, it's a little um, ambiguous. He called. Who's he? He called to Moses. Well, obviously, the he is... Hashem, it's God. God called to Moses. So why doesn't the Torah begin, say for Vayikra, with He called? Or even more simply, throughout most of the uh, most of the Torah, it says, and God spoke to Moses by the bear Hashem El Moshe. This one's a little different. It's a little um, it's a little unusual. And um, the spelling of the word ve'ikra. If you look in a chumash, if you look in the the, uh, this, the the book of uh, the Torah that's used in the synagogue, if you look at a Tanakh, and you look at the word ve'ikra, the aleph, the final letter ve'ikra, is spelled. It's quite small, unusually small. A different font, I suppose we would say, uh, these days. Um, there's all sorts of uh, meanings to that, and one of them was to show that that um, God called uh, Moses with love, with uh, affection. Apparently, the actual word, when Hashem called, was quite loud, but only uh, but only Moses heard it. Um, this um, our Chazal, our, our our sages say that whenever the Creator spoke to Moses, and Moses is the only person who spoke with Hashem in real time. Everyone else, God spoke to them in dreams or visions. Only Moses, God spoke to him in real time when he was awake. But prior to the dialogue, Moses, uh, his, he was elevated to a state almost above and beyond um, the physical essence and limitations. And this, it was this elevation that uh, enabled him to hear um, the words of God. The calling that starts off uh, the book of Leviticus, it represents the, this phenomenon of divesting uh, oneself of this physical dimension in order to prepare for the communication with the Almighty. If those of us who practice his bodhidus, uh, personal prayer uh, with the Almighty, personal prayer. In addition to the prayer set out in formal prayer, in a siddur, a prayer book, those of us who, who open up and speak to the Creator as if one would speak to a close and trusted personal friend, I know that I and many others take a moment pause, clear our mind, clear our heart, clear our soul, prepare yourself for the communication. I don't know whether it helps the communication from uh, the Creator's end, but it helps me. And um, I try to do it um, every time. Sometimes are more successful than others, but we can't all be perfect. Um, so when we call 
to the Creator, would we call to God and ask for Him to come close um, and to draw us close to Him? Let us remember uh, that tiny little Aleph uh, in the word Vayikra. Um, it's done with love. Um, we're going to be doing more videos uh, along these lines. Please come back. Please watch, please learn, and until next time, on behalf of the Amuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.